Anyways, anyways, Paul's talking to some, you know, the people, people and uh, he told, told, he told his church to him, it's not, when we say, such was flesh, so his soul may be saved in the day of Christ. So that just shows you, and only, only look at this, in Old Testament too, remember King Saul, when he disobeyed God, God took the Holy Spirit from him, and the evil spirit tormented him, and King David would sing music to him, that would soothe his soul because God's, so God's, God's spirit is connected to his music, you see what I'm saying? Certain things are connected to certain things, you know what I mean? That's why we want to mess with certain things, man. So like I did. You know what? So it just shows you. The mark. It ain't being demon obsessed, brother. You know? I'm saved, man. You know what? <laughs> I'm getting punished, man. You know what I mean? You know what? Saved. I'm saved. The mark is, you know what the mark is? The mark, dude, is, is it's an anti-word, dude. It's going outside God's word. It's believe. It's what you put your right hand to and what you believe, man. So if I believe a lie, I pick it up. See what I'm saying? I'm reading it. God taught me all this, you know what I mean? See? That's the mark right there. Let's see. Let's see, brother. Ah. Oh, mark of the beast. 666 is here. Here's the fool. That mark that they put in your hand, yeah. the RFID chip, got a barcode hey. on it. Just like everything hey, that, that you, you know what? That, you know what? That right there. All I can say is, you know what? All I can tell you, all I can tell you is what? We gonna read to you out the Bible, you know. This is this I'll is you two in the ultimate Holy Spirit right here. Ephesians chapter six, verse twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Yeah, that's right. We do rest against rulers of darkness of this world. Right? We rest against spiritual demons. We rest against physical demons too. All right, go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, go ahead. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. Yeah. So, so just like you say, you went to the dark side and you came back, right? We wrestle against demons. We wrestle against. Spiritual wickedness at high places like bankers. All right. Like what? Bankers. Bankers? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, man. All I know is that it's, 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 uh, it's demons that, you know what I mean? They, I ain't saying they yeah. don't use men because they do. They do. Yeah. They do use men, you know what I mean? We can back that up because Paul, he would go into, I'm sorry, man. I, you know, I'm so, I mean, Paul, he would go into places, dude. And remember the Jews? Yeah. They would uh, attack him, dude. But what, yet, yet he was behind it. It's like what's going on now. That's well, like you said. Like you tell me, man. Like you tell me. God had me read the same thing this morning, dude. I had to read the same thing this morning, dude. Yes, well, the same this. thing, man. Ephesians 6, dude. Yeah. Tell me, man. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day. All right, you said the Holy Spirit within you, so it's going to tell you about what the how to take on the armor. Let's, let's see if you got that armor. You know, you know what the armor of God is? You say you read it today, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the armor of God? Breastplate of righteousness. Okay. That shot you for preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay. okay. And, uh, we're gonna point. We're all right. Gonna, we're gonna read. Oh, first you gotta put on the fellow truth to hold your armor, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then uh you got the helmet of salvation, you got the sword of spirit. I don't know if I'm missing anything. But I, I know those this right here, oh shield of faith. These are two things you gotta pick up every day. Oops, I'm sorry. You gotta pick up every day, you know what I mean? You gotta pick up every day, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? So you know why? If I get in the word. You know why? And memorizing it. You know, know why? Because we're at war, man. All right? Oh, man. We got to yes. be right. We're going to read. We're going to read. Man. We're soldiers of Christ, dude. That ye may be able to withstand the evil day and yeah. haven't done. That's why we're putting on the armor, because you got to withstand the evil day. That evil day, you bring up the mark of the beast. That mark of the beast is the RFID chip was a part of that evil day. All right? The downfall of this wicked kingdom. All right? That's that evil day. All right, just like the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and destroyed Egypt, he's going to destroy this wicked kingdom, okay? Because this place is worse than both put together, okay? Now read on. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Yeah, loins girt about with truth. You got to accept the truth of the Bible. So, right, because they got a lot of, 
so-called truths in this world, but the, the, the truth the truth that this is talking about is the Bible, what the Bible says. All right, go ahead. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Having on the blessed breastplate of righteousness, doing the right thing. We're righteous right. through Christ Jesus. By, by his blood, we're righteous. And the devil, you can't do nothing about it. That blood of Jesus. Yeah, it says, resist the devil and he shall flee from you, right? I mean, God, he don't look at us, we're sinners no more. God sees us as righteous, man. He sees us through the blood of Jesus, so he sees us as Jesus. Not, you not see yourself with a kind of a white robe, because we're kings of the king, man. Not all, not all. Not all, I'm not just all saying. people, because there's, there's people out here that don't don't seek righteousness. What about them people? We don't see them as right. No, 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 I'm just saying, no, only 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 people that believe believe in the blood of Jesus, you know what I mean? Yeah. That truly believe in the blood of Jesus, that Jesus died on the cross for their sins, you know what I mean, was buried and rose on the third day, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he, only That's people it. that got that that uh that the opportunity of mercy is the people on these signs. That's why we had a sign out there to show you who's on this sign. So if you're not on the sign, you can't receive that mercy through the blood of Christ. All right? Because in the book of John, he said he died for who? For salvation is of who? Salvation is of the Jews. Okay, he came and died for the Jews. That's how he brought the light into the world, is through the Jews, that's what he's saying. Yeah, we're the Jews, you're looking at them. Well, well I'm not a, spiritual I'm not Jews, yes, we're spiritual. I mean, spiritual we are. No, I'm a, I'm a physical yeah. Jew, I'm a through the bloodline. I'm, I'm spiritual, I am. not you know a I mean? Jew, I'm an Israelite through bloodline. Spiritual, All right? Yeah. So well, I'm going to ask you this, what is your, uh, what's your lineage, your ethnicity? Me. Your, uh, your, your race? Uh, different kinds of Indian, German, and Irish. German, Irish, okay. What's your dad? Uh, Christian. Uh, Christian. Christian. Uh, dad, I've never met my dad. You don't know what ethnicity your, your dad is? Yes, sir. No, not at all. all yes, right. sir. But your, basically, your, your uh, ethnicity goes based off your dad. Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry, I don't believe that, but God bless you guys, man. Every single one of you guys, man. Love but you, you guys. say you say you Jesus believe in the, you, say you believe in the Bible. The Bible says Abraham begot Isaac, hey, Isaac hey, begot Jacob. Can we do this? Hey, can we do this, man? Uh -uh, can we get no, together, man? One no. days? Come on, man. Uh -uh. And get in the word, do it a little bit, man. Come on, man. Go home and read, man. Go read. Go hey, man. All right. God bless you guys, man. Yeah. God bless yeah. you guys. Let's go ahead. Ephesians six. Go back. Ephesians six. Yeah, yeah. Ephesians six. Ephesians chapter six. Yeah, you know you know about that chip right there. Oh, you know all about you know uh, Obama going the our beloved Obama gonna bring that chip into force, huh? Through the the, the Obama kill. Yeah, you ever uh, you ever visit like uh, Prison Planet or JordanMaxwell.com? Oh, uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're, were hip to Alex Jones. I, I seen. I probably pulled up Prison Planet like a while ago, like one time. But uh, I, we were pretty much on like the concentration camps. And, you know, uh, the NDAA, uh, SOPA, you know, all that, you know, which Obama is uh, pushing more than other, all these other presidents put together, all right? And just like I said, he's pushing that next, the RFID chip. So you're not, like, worried about, like, the Bilderbergs or, you know? You know we're not worried about them. We know about them. They, they're the, you know, the high-ranking, they're ones who are, who are behind, but Obama's nothing but a puppet, all right? These yeah, people, so, I mean, I'm not worried about about Obama, I mean, he's just going to be destroyed. Those are the people I'm, I'm scared about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's the true threat. But uh, the, 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 uh, the, the face of the, um, the face that's pushing this movement is Obama. But the, the um, running engine is the Bilderberg, Birds, DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rothschilds, you know. Uh, that's that's, that's scary shit. I and mean, you got, you know, Melinda and uh, Bill Gates gave, you know, uh, what was it, almost a billion dollars to Planned Parenthood. Yeah. That's scary uh, shit. A lot of people can do that. Yeah, because they're trying to depopulize the, the world. By, by how much? By like, uh, how much they're trying to depopulize the world by? It's about seven billion. They want about 500 million left. Yeah, yeah, about 500 million left, you know? So that's a lot of people, all right? That's why, they, that's why they're getting rid of these guns. Well, okay? yeah, they don't want people to fight back. Yeah. Why yeah. would you want people to fight back? They even tell uh, preachers and uh, some of the pastors to tell, to tell their flock to turn in the guns to the government. That's right. And they the, quote uh, Romans. Romans, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So you know who else quoted Romans? Damn, I know it. Hitler. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's just a um and that scripture does not say that. that scripture's talking about obey your masses, don't resist your masses. It's really talking about don't resist the government as right. far as, you know, but that don't mean you can't have a gun, you know. Right. But they they suggest stuff. You have to stand on your own, but it's talking about like don't go out and rob banks. Don't don't go out and try to do it on your own. Right. Okay? But of course you gotta obey the most high. Alright, that's the true master is talking about. Don't right. resist him. 
not talking about whatever the government say do it. Right. You know? exactly. But they use that. But they, just like you say, the Bilderbergs, these other bankers, they're the ones that uh, fund these governments. They're the ones that, because once you sign that, uh, that um, oh, no, no, what's, the, what's the thing they signed the past to sign? Yeah, yeah. 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 501c3 charter, they give up their first amendment. So they have to, they have to preach that. All right, they have to speak about these things and say give up your guns, because they're nothing but puppets too. Just going to Revelation, they had three frogs. All right, one of them represented the financial system, one of them represented the religious system, and one of them represented the military power. All right, that's the uh, that's London financial, America's the military power, and uh, the Vatican is the religious power, which is the Catholic or Roman Catholic system, which is the bitch, the, the biggest wicked. That's that's the ones that's pushing all this, you know. All right, give me uh, give me that on the chip though. I want I want to get on that chip. You know? Oh yeah, I know all about that. Did you see uh, like right after 9/11, one uh, of the chicks that uh, worked for Barry Chip got her kids invited. Yeah, you know, we yeah. went on on public TV stating how good it was. So. They're, they're doing it in Mexico big time right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They, you know, uh, I forgot which state they're doing it in America, but they had this uh, Latino kid that didn't want to get it and they suspended her. You know, but they, they did it on ID cards. They didn't put it in them yet. But she got suspended because she was like, that's the mark of the beast. I'm not getting it. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So just like we said in the Obama healthcare plan, that's it. the chip is in there, but it's going to become a law. So there's no like. Or you get suspended, you're gonna go to jail, get put in a concentration camp because you're seen as resisting the government. So yeah, you know all about the FEMA camps and everything else. Yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. Yeah. 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 The yeah, bullets that they're buying, yeah. the hollow tip bullets, yeah. you know? They just order uh, 21.6 million more hollow tips. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Revelations 13 and 16. Yeah. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Yeah, that mark is that RFID chip. In the right hand or in the forehead <laughs> of the people. All right, it's a, it's a RFID chip, radio frequency identification. All right, chip, device. All right, which is really what the computer was created for. All right, IBM, you know, through the Eldar Ram Lab, he put that out there, you know, and showing how the, the way the computer developed is just to track people. All right, the social security system is used just to track you. Because in America, you might think that the, without the social security system, uh, social security number, you can't survive. But you go over there in Russia, there is no social security system. All right, such as America. All right, and they survive just they should, they fare off just fine. All right, go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that have the mark. Yeah, save, save no man might buy or sell. Ex basically, except you have that mark, except you have that chip. So if the world, uh, the American currency, really the world currency, what they're trying to get to, but we're gonna say American currency for now. That's why the dollar's crashing. That's why everything is moving from paper to plastic to just X's and O's on, on ones and zeros on the computer. All right, and then it's gonna go from plastic to a chip. An implantable device. All right, you got your ID cards. You should have. You should have social security cards. Now it's going to be a, a RFID chip implanted in you, with your health records, your identification, your background check. You know. What you about to say? Uh, somebody told me that the Iowa license that they got, I mean, they got the chip in there. Yeah. Uh, I got an Iowa license. I don't really know. It could be in there, but I know on you know, the Iowa license, they do like bold your name. You know what I'm saying? They can have it in there or something like that. But either way, like the brother was just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's going to come time where there's going to be all of that. Yeah, but there, you, you, there's ways you can find out if you look like on the back of the car, but it's like uh, they got certain. Um, like if you buy a DVD, a lot of uh, DVDs have RFID chips in them, and it's like a little swirl, you know, and you could just put a drill or something and just take a nail and just hit it, and they'll, and they'll knock it out. You know, he, he might show you on that on YouTube and shit, but uh, it's that little swirl, that little swirl shit, it's a metal swirl, you know what I'm talking about? I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like uh, a form of RFID uh, design. Yeah. So to speak, for lack of better words. And and you know, you brothers out there, y'all gotta realize, and you know, of course it's gonna come down to that chip that you know that look like.
size of a grain of rice and everything, but the purpose of a RFID, 